Check, check, one, two, one, two. All right, party goers, welcome back to Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most famous pop culture podcast. This is your boy Brian, a.k.a. El Nino. Normally, I'd be doing like your pop culture in 60 seconds segment and all that stuff, but we do have some sad news, which will lead to some good news. Uh, I've been putting this off now for about a week, just doing some soul searching, everything under the sun, you know, talking to my wonderful daughter, Jordan, who does all of our video edits, um, you know, my amazing wife, Ashley, family members, things like that. We are going to be taking a, a pause on the podcast for about a month, you know, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter, you know, who knows, uh, this weekend I'll be in New York for toy fair. Uh, two weeks from now we will be at New York comic-con and, uh, you know, it's just, you get to that age to where you start listening to your body and, and your mind and everything else. And, you know, we are pop culture advocates, but on top of that, most importantly, we are mental health advocates on top of that so you know it's 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 just time to just take a break it's been a great five and a half years we're not stopping this by any means it's just time to reassess and you know calm down and let me kind of focus a little bit more on my voice acting career uh something that i've been trying to you know take off now for the last two years in a slow and steady race and and but most importantly though it's just uh it's just, you know, again, it, it's it's mental health. It's it's time for a mental health break on Zero Dark Nerdy for us to take just take some time off, you know. So, of course, keep enjoying the Trivia Nights with Jadon. I'll still be doing the Trivia Nights at Terminal Tap, um, you know, so make sure you keep following us on social media. We love all of our family and friends and everybody else that's been so supportive of us for, you know, the last five and a half years and over 200 episodes. So it's just, uh, you know, it's just time to just take a little bit of a break. That's all. So this is not done. This is not goodbye. This is just, uh, if you're not seeing episodes come out on a weekly or biweekly basis, we're, we're taking a time out. And, uh, you know, it's just time and, and it's due. Big shout outs to my daughter, Jordan, just for taking care of the video edits and, and, and helping out on all editing, really, with, with Zero Dark Nerdy. She's just doing a fantastic job with that. So... You know, to end this on a high note, a couple previews, like reviews that we want to give, and of course, an unboxing video that we want to thank our good friends over at Sailfish Comics for. So in terms of reviews, I got to say, if you have not checked out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, check it out. To me, it is honestly probably my favorite TMNT proper, like property. And it's for all of us that were 80s and 90s babies that grew up on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it's also for the next generation as well. The voice acting is done incredible. The soundtrack, amazing, especially for those of us hip-hop fans out there. And, I mean, seeing Ice Cube as Superfly is, is outstanding. So be sure to check out TMNT Mutant Mayhem as soon as you possibly can. Um, on top of that, some other news, we are planning on some, uh, some activities to hit downtown Greensboro. I've had a lot of people reach out. Hey, when are you going to do another bar crawl? When are you, when are you going to do this and that and the other? Believe me, that is all in the works. And I can promise you one thing, Boxcar will not be involved with any of that stuff. So you want more details on, on that? You can reach out to me personally, to my good friends out there. But we have some really great events planned after we take this short little hiatus just to kind of recharge the batteries a little bit. So to the unboxing, courtesy of our good friends at Sailfish Comics, you know, three locations in North Carolina, the original one in Winston-Salem, with the one right here in Greensboro, which is the one that we adore and love. You know, big shout out to Steven. He's been on the show a couple times now, and we can't wait to have him back. And, of course, Concord. So three locations. Check them out. We got some awesome, awesome stuff here that you can get right from them at their store. So let's just get into a little bit of the unboxing. So a lot of this stuff does come from Super 7, which is a fantastic action figure brand. They do a lot of the pop culture stuff that we love. And... They do it very, very well. And like I said, you can find a lot of these items at all three Sailfish Comics locations. 
So this one is the the Run and Tammy 2 Parks and Rec right there in the camera for you. Cannot wait to hang this up. You know, you got Ron with the uh, the mustache, with the uh, the dojo outfit going on. Uh, you know, monumental scene from from one of the greatest shows of all time. If you've not checked out Parks and Rec and you're a big fan of The Office, you need to check them out. Same same creators, same writers, all that fun stuff. All right, keeping it moving. Speaking of The Office, we have the Michael Scarn Threat Level Midnight action figure again from Super Seven. You can find these at Sailfish Comics locations. If they don't have them, just tell them to order them. They will order these. So, you know, Threat Level Midnight for those of us Office fans out there. This this is the jam right here. All right, keeping it moving. Star Wars, The Mandalorian. And we have The Armorer. This one is actually, you know, not that not that pricey. I know I'm trying to, like, get the, uh, the reflection off of this. But, uh, you know, I think this was like $12 or something like that. So Star Wars, The Mandalorian, The the Armorer, who I can't wait to hear more about her backstory. And eventually, if they do it right, I'm sure we're going to get a backstory just on her, on her character. Got down to the last two. For those of us 80s babies out there, this was one of our, and still to this day, our favorite vampire movies. We have David from The Lost Boys. So, uh, you know, again, Super 7, always coming with the fire. You can find these items at all three Sailfish Comics locations. Last, well, I don't want to say last. There's one more awesome, awesome item coming your way. But, you know, I got to bring up, you know, Wu-Tang is, I live, breathe, everything Wu-Tang. This is the RZA Bobby Digital Super 7 action figure right here. Got the gun and everything, like, straight from the album cover. This was RZA's first solo album after producing monster, monster uh, albums. Of course, Wu-Tang entered 36 Chambers, the first ODB album, the first Method Man album. Like, he literally produced the majority of the first albums to make sure that the sound was consistent with the Wu-Tang sound. So RZA, Bobby Digital, coming your way right here. And again, our, our biggest item which you can find at Sailfish Comics, is right Chia. Just came out. It is the Magneto helmet from X-Men 97. We're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. I cannot wait. This is something that's been on, uh, you know, one, one of my waiting lists for a while now. Like I said, just came out. You can find a lot of other collectibles at Sailfish Comics. But this one is just one that I, I had to have. And it does come with a stand as well. So for those of you that don't want to wear the helmet on a 24-7 basis, which, I mean, why wouldn't you? Um, you know, I'm super, super, super excited about this. So the stand, it looks like it's two pieces that you have to put together. But here is the helmet, which I will go ahead and put on. Oh, man. Great fit. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And there, there is an adjustable piece. I just didn't want, I, I didn't have enough time to go ahead and put it on there. But I got to say, awesome, awesome piece. Retails for $100. Like I said, you can find this at Sailfish Comics. So again, thank you so much for everybody that's been a fan from day one. And even if you just joined us recently, we love you. You know, we're just taking a small temporary break. We will be right back. You know, give us about a month to just get our bearings again and after we get through toy fair and, and new york comic-con and everything else uh i'm excited to bring you you know another 200 plus episodes and another five plus years you know it's been five and a half years 200 plus episodes so far and it's only going to get better so just time to shut it down a little bit recharge the batteries and uh you know again thank you so much to all our fans friends family members out there and we'll see you next time I'll see you in about a month or so. Love you. Peace.